Case title, People v. Tulin, GR No. 111709, 30 August 2009. Empty Tabangao cargo vessel owned by Pinoc Shipping and Transport Corporation was sailing near the coast of Pindoro loaded with barrels of kerosene, gasoline, and diesel oil with a total value of 40.4 M was suddenly boarded by seven fully armed pirates. The pirates detained the crews and took control of the vessel. The Pinoc logo were dead over with black and was painted over with the name Galili. The ship crew was forced to sail to Singapore and later went back to Batangas, Philippines and remained at sea. Days later, it sailed back to Singapore and later another vessel called the Navy Pride anchored beside it. Chong San Yong supervised the Navy's crew and received the cargo on board Empty Tabangao Galili. After the transfer of goods were completed, Empty Tabangao Galili sailed back to the Philippines and the original crew members were released by the pirates and was ordered not to report to authorities. However, the chief engineer reported the incident to the Coast Guard and thereafter followed a series of arrests were affected and charged the accused of qualified piracy or violation of PD-532. The issue in the case is whether or not the accused are guilty of qualified piracy. The ruling of the court is yes, the accused are guilty of piracy. Under Article 1-2 of the RPC, piracy in general and mutiny in the high seas provided that piracy must be committed in the high seas by any person, not a member of its complement nor a passenger thereof. It was amended by RA 7659 which broadened the law to include offenses committed in the Philippine waters. PD 532 on the other hand embraced as any person including a passenger or member of the complement of said vessel in the Philippine waters. Passenger or not, member of the complement or not, any person is covered by the law. No conflict exists among the mentioned laws. They exist harmoniously as separate laws.